Some people use the terminology theory of everything in describing this unified theory that Einstein is looking for and that we are working vigorously on today. I'm not a great fan of that phrase, theory of everything. What we're really trying to do is describe the fundamental ingredients that are responsible for all that we see in the world around us and the fundamental forces that describe how those ingredients behave. Now, if you are a staunch reductionist, your view is if you understand the fundamental ingredients, then you understand all the things that those ingredients come together to make. But will a fundamental theory of this sort ever really predict what you're going to have for lunch tomorrow? I don't think so. So in that sense, is it a theory of everything? Well, it's a theory of the ingredients that make up everything.